So you can see I have an expression here. It's an algebraic expression because it has variables in it. So we're going to simplify this very similar to the way that we would simplify a problem with order of operations. The only difference here is that when we have variables, we're going to have to be careful about combining only the like terms when we get to the addition or subtraction part of the problem. So you'll notice I have addition, subtraction, and right here with the 5 next to the parentheses tells me that's multiplication. So I'm going to perform the multiplication before I perform the addition or subtraction. You might be thinking, well, we're supposed to do what's in the parentheses first. Well, the parentheses here, you'll notice I have x minus 2. Those are unlike terms, so I can't perform that subtraction. So the parentheses are as simple as I can get them. That's why I'm starting with the multiplication here. So step one is to distribute. And in this case, notice that 5 is a negative 5. So I'm going to distribute this negative 5 to these two terms in the parentheses. So first I take the negative 5 times the positive x, which is going to give me negative 5x. Next step, I'm going to take the negative 5 times the negative 2. Notice negative times a negative, that's going to give me a positive answer. So I write plus or positive 10. Now I'm just going to bring down the rest of this information, which I haven't used. Okay, so we're done multiplying. You can see I have addition and subtraction left. So what I'm going to do now is go through and combine my like terms. Remember, like terms have to have matching variable parts. So notice 4x and negative 5x, those are like terms. I also have like terms that are constant terms. The positive 6 and the positive 10, those are like terms. We can combine those together. So I'll start by combining the 4x and the negative 5x. Well, if I add a 4x to a negative 5x, that's going to give me a negative 1x. Now I'm going to go through and combine my constant terms, the positive 6 and the positive 10. When I combine those together, I'll get a positive 16. This is as simple as that expression can get. Notice I have a variable term here. It has an x. Here I have a constant term. It doesn't have any variables at all. So this is the best I can do. However, that's quite a bit simpler than the problem that I started with. Two terms compared to uh, a couple terms, three or four terms with some multiplication and such. So hopefully this will help you simplify algebraic expressions.